Hey, how's it going? I'm Sean, and this is Devlog7 for Reaper of the Undead. Before I start, I just wanted to thank everyone for writing their thoughts in the comments. In the last video, I got some really useful feedback from you guys, and I really appreciate it. While I can't cater to everyone, I'll definitely do my best to mould the game to your liking. After all, you guys are the ones that will be playing the game. That being said though, I need to consider which suggestions are worth pursuing. I'd rather not spend more time than I need to on the small things. So getting onto the update, I've taken the feedback that's been given and added blood back into the game. I had other plans for the zombie deaths, so I didn't add the dead bodies back, but basically I wanted the zombies to burst into a heap of dust similar to a vampire, and their soul would escape and be taken by the reaper. Let me know what you think, is the new death animation satisfying enough, or do you guys still prefer having the dead body? I don't want to spend too much time on death animations, but if you guys don't like it, I'll definitely try to do something about it. One of the main additions is the upgrade and leveling system. Collecting souls from dead enemies will level up the player, and each level gives you an upgrade token to spend on the upgrade menu. You can either upgrade health, damage, fire rate, ammo capacity, or reload speed. Some upgrades are definitely better than others, so I'll likely be changing the cost of each upgrade. I think it will also help if each upgrade got progressively more expensive, so the damage might start at 2, and then it would cost 3 for the next one and so on. I've noticed myself I tend to buy damage and fire rate straight away and just ignore the others. It's only until I've maxed out those two that I start buying the other ones, so that's a bit of a problem. In addition to the upgrade system, I've made the levels and enemies get harder and harder. I mentioned in a previous video that I didn't want to increase the health of the enemies, and I've stuck with what I've said. For the difficulty curve, I've increased the size of the map, the chance of enemies spawning, and the movement speed of the enemies. This means that by the time you get a full auto gun that one shots everything, there are tons of really fast enemies swarming you. I still need to do a whole bunch of tweaking, but if I get it right, there won't be a point where you ever feel overpowered. You'll definitely get the feeling of being powerful, mowing down swarms of enemies, but never to the point where you get bored, where there's no challenge. That's all the new stuff for this video, but before I end it, I just wanted to ask your opinion on something. Would you be okay with the amount of content I currently have, at least for the first release of the game? I know I've got a lot to polish before I ever release the game, but is it enough in terms of content? I'm definitely keen to add new level types and enemies in the future, but would you rather be able to play a game sooner, or would you rather wait until it has a bit more substance? Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.